Welcome to the imperfect life of a sketchbook. So books have all, like we said, all different sizes, all different kinds of bindings. This is real traditional Windsor and Newton's uh, case bound sketchbook. And you know, it's just, you know, not that great of paper, but good enough. It won't go through a nice size, kind of thin enough where it's not so thick, it's overwhelming. Oh my God, I have stuff in here. Um, Okay, so I must have, I might have even bought this in Vienna when I went there. Maybe somebody bought, gave it to me there because I did, I did one page and I never did another one. That's how I used to sketch, but I'm, I'm pretty committed to my practice now. This is a really nice book. I didn't even know I had this. Maybe that will be next. Oh, this was, this is not really, I'm not going to call this a sketchbook, but you guys could. You can alter any kind of a book you have, you know, tape it, paint it. Or just draw right over it and then do what I did, which is the mixed media sketching to kind of push other things back and, and pull them forward. I have to say, I have so many books now. Uh, I don't know that I'm that into the altering the book for the sketchbook. I It's time for me to use some of these books that I have. Um, that's not really a sketchbook. That's not a sketchbook. Well... I guess these are things that I was thinking I could use. I'm putting some uh, papers here that I that I make from drawings, and then you know kind of paint them out. I could you know cut all these papers down to one size and bind them, or I, I don't know what, but maybe I'm because I'm having all my, I'm, I was like trying to organize, so I had all my sketching and stuff here, so there must be a reason I have it there. Um, this is a visual journal that Tracy Bunkers made for me, but. Because so much of the paper is relatively blank, I'm thinking this is going to be a super kick-ass sketchbook. And this paper here is, um, you know, braille paper. So it's got this cool texture. So I'm excited to see. And there's still, like, even though this has text on it, there's, I think it's going to be easy enough for me to draw on it and push things forward and push, and push it um, back. It's still... Um, it, you know, the the design and the text on this paper is, is not so um, in the way of being able to draw on it, like, so distracting. So so I'm really excited um, about this. I've had this for a long time for a visual journal. I've never used it, but I think it's going to be a cool sketchbook, especially, like, with the handmade binding and everything. I, I'm pretty traditional about my sketchbooks. Uh, you might have seen this one before. I love this one. Um... One of my students made this for me, and she bound it. It's with leather and all these cool things. Because um, I'm as much into my, uh, I'm as much into my my cow my cowboys as, as I am pirates. So this is my cowboy bo book, and I think I did. So I did start sketching in here, but it's hard because it's um because it's like um landscape orientation or sort of like postcard size and I work really big I can only get the, the very tips of the the roofs on there I'm not sure that it was the it's the best style for me this um, you can't tell what this is it was a long ways but it was a, a um, hot tub pond somewhere so I only have a couple of things in here but it is a really nice sketchbook the, the paper is pretty pretty thick pretty substantial it's it's nice it's very well bound it's a it's a nice book again I think it's good to have these different orientations because they they challenge you to work in different ways um, and this is another square you know but in a different size um, paper paper bound um, I like this one, and I want to start using this some more. Um, it says Earthbound ske uh, Recycled Sketchbook, and this is by um, Dayla Rowney, and, and it has this um, this brown craft paper. And I think that that, I don't know if I have anything in here. Oh, oh well, I do, but I'm not going to, well, okay. So um, the reason I haven't gone back to this is... Um, I had the sketchbook with me when my mom was dying, so I, I literally sat there in front of her and drew and colored them in. 
So this, when I started that red book, this is my style still with markers where I, you know, uh, drew and, and colored it in. And I love that. That's really fun. I just, I don't know why I don't want to do that anymore. And I'm so thankful to have had this time, uh, you know, with my mom just sitting there looking at her and drawing her. Um, I feel really blessed to have that. Maybe it seems weird, but it was really great and cool. And I love this um, paper, you know, this, this tan paper, you know, you can take it, you got your black pen, maybe um, uh, a brown marker and maybe like a white watercolor crayon or a china marker. And you've got all these, you know, highlights, darks, shadows, all with just a few materials. This, when you want to have sketching be a practice, uh, I think the, the best thing to do is to keep it simple, keep your material simple. Like when you've got so much stuff like I did before, it was like, oh my God, I gotta pack it up. I gotta pull my stuff in my box. It was getting to be a little too much. This one's really pretty. I have a few of these and I got these, I think like at Hobby Lobby or something, like, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago. And they're just, they just look like they're journals. They don't look that well bound. But with these like really pretty sort of India fabric covers, the paper is is gold on the edge. And it's it's relatively thin, but it's it's still substantial enough to draw on. Or I could glue pages or something. But it's kind of this um, manila colored paper. Uh, it's a little intimidating. There's a lot of pages in here. It's it's pretty thick. Uh, I don't know, but it seems very sort of like old world, very old fashioned. I I love it. And then um, you know you can find these different places. This is sort of like what John, my boyfriend, does. Like this is somebody's old calendar. I don't see a year on it, but it's probably 40s or something like that. And so there's still some blank pages in here. This would be really fun, easy sketchbook, nice and thin here. I've got a couple of these. There's like some diary ones. Uh, this one, oh, I don't even know I wrote in there. This one was like a, a ledger. So I was going to say this would be cool when I draw it, but it already is cool. I should start using this one. This is cool. Um, oh, here, one of my, one of my students made this for me. This is super cool. And, um, So it has this little thing and it closes on this button and it was an old book cover just took it apart made these nice signatures here and the paper's really 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 nice and it's got this deckled edge here it's very i think i don't know if it's watercolor paper or printmaking paper it's really really nice and it has these pretty things in here Wow, I wonder why I haven't used this yet. You know, that's the thing. I have so much stuff, and and why I just kind of use the crappiest ones of the things that I have because, well, I don't want to waste them, you know. But, um, you know, so don't forget with your stuff how much cool things you have, and and take them out and use them. Don't be waiting for that perfect whatever. And I don't know where this is from. Maybe this is from. Uh, maybe you get these at at, at scrapbooking stores. But this is just le ledger paper, different kinds of, of, of different little pages and papers. And I'm not saying this is the sketchbook, but what I do with this, and I'm sure like one of my students put this in one of my stash things, and then I took it out. I was like, that's cool. But I glue these into my sketchbooks so that I have either paper to write on in the sketchbook next to a drawing, or just to make some of the paper a little bit different. So if you get stuff like this and you think, oh, I don't use that kind of thing. Maybe you didn't, but it might be a good idea now. Take, you know, take one of them, stick it on a page in your sketchbook, turn 10 pages, put another one in there, you know, so, so add some variety. Oh, these are cool. These, um, these Japanese temple books. So it's a, it's a, like an accordion book. This is going to be an amazing sketchbook, and I'm glad I looked at this again. I forgot I had this. So some really cool trip that I go on. Um, oh, here, I, I've already done something really terrible in here. Um, that sucks. 
So, uh, but this will be cool to work both at the back and the front and have it be an, an ongoing story. Um, I'll have to think of some really cool trip to go on. I love this little book because I love red. Um, but it is very thick. Who could ever finish such a thing? You know, so it's a nice size. But because it is so thick, it didn't fit in my little zipper bag or I would have had this one next. Paper's kind of thin, but it's all right. And it's got this nice little gold bookmark. That's nice. And this, I have to say, this, this cover feels so great. Um, so when I was talking about that um, ledger paper, so this little square book, it's one of these Flexisketch brands like like this yellow one here. My friend Tracy Bunkers gave me this one. And I started working in this, um, I was probably working in this the same time I was working in that other one. And, um, but I, I, it took, I'm still not connected to it. So what I started to do was um, um, take some papers out and like this was a postcard of my sister and I glued that in. And then I draw and write and then glue something that somebody gave me in another page. So, um, so just kind of working back and forth. Uh, and I'm also writing in here. Like I'm starting to do that in my sketchbooks. I'm not worried about it. Like sometimes I hate, I, I used to hate that. Like, you know, I don't want my writing. I'd want to glue pages together or cover over it because I wanted to, to be visually um, stimulating ongoingly rather than like, to me, that's boring. You know, uh, and I don't know, maybe I can draw over this. I don't know. I have no idea what's going to happen in this book. I really just started it. And then I had some um, copies of pictures from old sketchbooks and journals. And so I just started taking like collage stuff and sticking it in here and, and seeing how that's going to affect um, what I do later. And then just little strips of things, little squares. Um, yeah, so here's some of that ledger paper. So, so far I'm just kind of playing around with this and experimenting with, with some, with some different textures and having it not, and you know, postcards from people. So this is almost kind of becoming not quite a visual journal, um, but definitely a little bit different than that other sketchbook that was pretty just sketchbook. Maybe this is, again, another sort of mixed media sketchbook. I think that's a good term. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start calling. I'm gonna start calling it that. Let's see. Okay, you're at 28 minutes. All right. Let's <clears> see. <throat> um. Okay. So I think just. Okay. I'm gonna wind this up here. This, you know, sketchbooks are sketchbooks. What makes them different? Size, paper, cover, binding. This one's really cute. It's really little. It's almost too little. I have a really big hand. Um, paper's nice. Beautiful cover. Um, you know, so what do you do? You have, to, you have to pick it up. You have to feel it. But all those things, like this thing I think is so beautiful, it's not really working for me. And you won't know that till, till you get started. And you still won't know that till it becomes a practice, which could be six months to a year. You know, so don't think this, this kind of thing happens overnight don't think you know you're gonna know what you're doing because because every time I start something it's completely new I, I, I want to have some kind of confidence you know and, and keep going but it doesn't work that way so give that up let it go and devote yourself to we can say saving your life by 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 uh, talking to yourself in a sketchbook and noticing the world around you and seeing how you react to it. That's really what the sketchbook is, your reaction to um, what you're seeing. So I'm showing you guys all these books today. I know you've seen a lot of my my books, but um, I, I had way too many books and I had to get rid of stuff. So I was going through my shelves, etc., going through books, and I, I started stacking them up and saying, you know what, if I haven't used these in the last 20 years, I'm not going to use them now. And then I stopped because I thought, well, this is going to be a great sketchbook. You know, prior to, I would say the last year, I was not really a sketcher. I mean, I drew, but I didn't have a sketchbook. I didn't work that way. It was a visual journal. 
And um, so all the books I thought I was gonna get, gonna get rid of, I can't now, because it's, it's different for me. Being a sketcher is really different. So, so that's why I started to, to look at the, now, now I've got other books I, I, I can't let go of that I'm gonna hoard, so. The new, the new, the new me, the new me, the new sketcher. So, uh, so carry on in your, your imperfect sketchbook, because that's gonna be the best thing of your whole life. Thanks for joining me.